Hi everyone, my name is George and welcome to Value Assets. This channel is going to be talking about investing in the stock market and how you can achieve a return on investment of 15% or more a year. Now the concept of investing this channel is about is value investing. There will be more videos to talk about that in the future, what value investing is and how you can apply it. But today we're going to be talking about the difference of investing as opposed to saving and why future you will be glad you've chosen to invest. Now before we start, I'm going to quickly bring up some stats about what the average income in Australia is and what the medium income in the United States is. According to the ABS, the average income in Australia is $67,860 and the medium income in the United States is $69,560. So for example, let's take the average income of Australians and we invest 10% of that amount each year which comes to $6,786 and we're earning a 15% year over year return by investing in the stock market. You will see that over time and over a 40 year span, you will receive a much higher return from investing in the stock market as opposed to just working and saving all your income. Now this doesn't take into account um, tax expenses and also commission expenses, but you can see the overlying picture here and you'll be much better off by investing in the stock market as opposed to just working and saving your income. And we also haven't taken into account inflation. So on average, inflation increases around 2 to 3% per year. And in 2021, it was a lot higher than that. So if you just save your money, it doesn't help offset the impacts of inflation. And that is another reason why investing in the stock market is a better way to go. Let's have a look at the US dollar used in this inflation calculator. So $1 in 1980 is now worth $3.41 in 2022. So what does this mean? Well, it means that the purchasing power back then is a lot stronger than it is today, meaning that you're able to purchase more goods and services in 1980 as opposed to today. And it shows in the bottom that the cumulative rate of inflation is 241.2%. So you also need to take into account that if you save your money without investing it and you're earning zero interest on your savings, you'll actually be reducing your purchasing power over time. So I hope you've gained some value out of today's video. We've covered the differences between investing and saving your income over time. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel below. And in the future, we're going to be talking about value investing, what that is, and how you can earn a 15% annual return over time. Thank you. Take care, guys, and goodbye.